Instead, it was Thistle's new man, Derry McWilliams, who made a telling contribution in 23 minutes, scoring the first of two goals within a minute, which virtually sealed victory. McWilliams, signed in a free transfer from Dunfermline, latched onto a poor-headed clearance to drive the ball into the net from 25 yards. Inside 60 seconds, Isaac English collected a Bobby Law pass to score with an angled shot, which rolled just inside the far post. Thistle would have added a third goal four minutes later, but for an instinctive save by Bobby Geddes from English. So an important win for Thistle against a side tipped as fellow relegation strugglers. A final score again, Party Thistle 2, Kilmar McNeil. While at Fur Hill, two first half goals in two minutes gave Partick Thistle the points against Kilmarnock. And hope springs eternal at Fur Hill, where the season's got off to a real flyer. And today we John Lambie has become an expert in dealing in the free transfer market. This summer he's picked up Derek McWilliams from Dunfermline, and he's already proved he's worth every penny that wasn't paid for him. Derek's a good player, I mean, the temperament was the thing that was wrong with Derek, but I had Derek in a... Followed that up with a 5-0 Coca-Cola Cup victory over Brecon. The real test, though, comes this afternoon against Rangers. The team's last week, assistant manager Jerry Collins donned the hard hat, and he watched the game from the new stand. But the SFA have ruled that move offside, and he'll have a more conventional vantage point this afternoon. Oh, well, he'll be sitting up here, Nate, uh, no mistake about that. Uh, Jerry will be up in the stand. Uh, that's the place for him anyway, Ken. I'm getting a wee bit peace down in the dugout. 